Hey guys and welcome to another Silky Bix Developer Studio Pro 11 tutorial. In this video, I'm going to talk about the new function in white balance. Now, before I get into that part, um, thank you so much for supporting me via Patreon or via PayPal. And if you're interested in my photographs, you can pay a visit to my website, link in the description below. Now, in white balance, you everything remains same but there is something else has been added at the bottom it calls auto area specification now just to remind you in white balance you obviously have the different uh, presets obviously and then uh, you have the gray balance tool which is one of the most common tool you if you have a gray area you just use the dropper and that should automatically neutralize the white balance now you have the skin color control tool, which is I made um, several videos in past. Basically, you put the dropper on the skin tone, and it should fix the white balance based on the skin tone, with a while keeping a nice um, skin tone. Now, the new option, which is the white area specification, what it does exactly. Now, when you do auto white balance the algorithm of the silky peaks or generally any um, algorithm of any software calculate the i'm just going to click off all these options so that you can see it better so the algorithm uses um, calculation uh, from the colors from the coming from the different light source and try to give you a uh, original uh, white balance based on its calculation of the algorithm. So in Silky Peaks, if you you have two of them, actually three, um, absolute, neutral, or natural, I believe, and the underwater, which is obviously not the case now. Now everything is fine; it works fine, but sometimes it does not work. So now you have the auto area specification. Simply what it does, I'm going to demonstrate some example. I'm just going to make it smaller enough. And what I'm gonna do, just going to reduce the exposure so that I can bring some details back. And then if I put this little box inside the shadow area, for example, it got bluer, <coughs> excuse me. Now, if I bring it over here in the white section, it got warmer. Now, take a look at before and after. So we are in auto white balance natural. Now, because I put the box on the white area, I turned off the auto area specification. And the difference between with or without is not very significant, which means I did a good job with the auto area specification. It's in the right location. But if I bring it on the shadow area, on the other hand, and make it a little smaller to be a bit more, you know, precise, it got a little cooler. So let's show before and after. And it changes every time. Now, what that means exactly, now it got really even more cooler it's even 5600 what it means that algorithm works about 80 percent of the time now silky peaks allowing you to assist the algorithm to give you a better white balance so what that means that means that you are now able to assist the algorithm to precise the original right source so for example in this image the light source, you cannot really see it because the light source is the sun, is the ambient light. However, if you put this little box on the wall where the original light source is reflecting to is the closest one. So now algorithm has a base. So it's going to calculate based on that area and put a white balance for the whole image. Now, on the contrary, if you put that box in the shadow area, for instance, it changed and it got a bit cooler because the dark area cannot be 
the light source because it's dark. So it has to be somewhere either here, for example, or here, or any bright area. Right? So now I hope that you got the idea. Now let me show you another example which is a bit more complicated now. Now here, the photo is a little bit complicated for the white balance. Why is complicated? For instance, you have two different light sources here. So you have a light source inside the shop and the outside. So if you, in the camera setting, I did a quite good job because, you know, with the, this is a Fuji um, camera or hybrid, any hybrid, you actually can see the change in life. So I did manage to get a bit of balance between inside and outside. However, if I put auto absolute, you can see that it tried to balance between inside and outside. As a matter of fact, I don't see there is a much of a change inside, but outside it got a little bit warmer, right? And now you have dark adjustment. The dark adjustment doesn't work here because inside is neither pink, neither, you know, green. It's actually quite orange. So you have the multi uh, light source compensation. So if I do back and forth, like go to 100, you see that inside it got quite neutralized. Good or bad, it's very subjective. And now, if I turn on the auto white balance, enable the white auto area specification, make it smaller enough to be more precise. Now, instead of the dark area, you see that now I'm having a trouble because it, this is, I think, the bug that needs to be fixed because now I cannot move it everywhere I want. You see that it's just uh, moving itself. It's taking time. The reflection is not quick enough. So I'm gonna turn off the my website. So if I put the box in the dark area, you can see that it got cooler because obviously that's not the light source, any light source, this is dark. So the algorithm is thinking that, okay, things needs to be cooler. Now if I bring it outside, and you can see that it doesn't look very cold, it doesn't look very warm either, it's quite neutralized too. Now if I put it inside the box, not much of a change either, but then if you move everywhere, you see that it's a little bit of change. So my point is that to be, to be more precise, you can make it long, and maybe you can do back and forth so that you're telling the algorithm that find a good balance between the outside and inside and give me the best result possible. You can see that now it got warm again without changing indoor. So yeah, my point is that it's simple. The new auto area specification tool is basically allowing you to assist the algorithm for the auto white balance so that you can precise the original light source of the image and algorithm do the rest of the job. That's it. I hope I made this um, video clear with examples that I've shown you. Any questions, any doubt, uh, comment in the comment section below and I see you next time. Bye-bye.